Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Article going around about the, the possibility of a supercontinent forming out here in the vast Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean seems like it covers about half of planet Earth, and it makes you wonder if maybe at one point in time there was a continent out here. We're going to take a look at both of those possibilities in this video here in just a moment. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos, sent in from all around the world. But first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by, by Mark J out of Kansas of some stormy skies, very photogenic clouds above Kansas as storms were moving through his area. Coming over here to the Schumann residence, all in all pretty quiet in the last 72 hours, at least no major spikes. Hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Once again, like yesterday, we're seeing red vertical spikes kind of scattered around the west northwestern part of the caldera but all in all pretty quiet at the super volcano caldera nothing major going on there coming over here to the goes x-ray flux you can see here in the last 12 hours there was yet another m class solar flare and that came from this active region that is directly facing the earth right now as i do this video that is a huge active region that contains multiple sunspots and those sunspots are capable of producing x flares so don't be surprised if in the next day or two if there's not an earth directed M or possibly an X-class solar flare. Coming over here to poweroutage.us, looking at the power outage situation, following the landfall of Hurricane Ian down here in Florida, down to 114,470 customers in Florida. In Puerto Rico, 54,745, following the landfall of Hurricane Fiona. So slowly but surely getting the power back on in both Puerto Rico and Florida. Coming over here to the Lake Mead Water Database, yet another day of positive change. Just incredible. We've seen so many weeks of Lake Mead plummeting the water content, just slowly shrinking day by day. But now we're seeing the, the outflow much smaller than the inflow, which is creating an increase in the overall water content, not only at Lake Mead, but also upriver at Lake Powell. Day number six of positive change at Lake Powell. Powell. That is incredible news. The outflow also much smaller than the inflow, creating a positive change in the water content. So hopefully this positive trend will continue at Lake Powell and at Lake Mead. Okay, coming back over here to Google Earth, we're right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, this vast water world that covers half of planet Earth. And I've always pondered the question myself, why isn't there a, a continent out here in the Pacific Ocean? Well, what if there once was? There's an article going around right now about the next supercontinent forming when the Pacific Ocean disappears. And they've already got a name for it, Amasia. And this is like two or, or 300 million years down the road. And they're talking about a continent right here in between North America and and Asia. Well, what if instead of a new supercontinent forming, what if it was the return of a lost continent? There is talk that long ago there was a continent out here in the middle of this giant water world where it almost looks like there should be a continent out there, right? What if there was a lost continent called Mu that was once out here that included Easter Island, Tahiti, Tonga, Fiji, all the way up to Hawaii. Here's another map that shows the lost continent of Mu occupying pretty much half of the Pacific Ocean. It fits in there quite nicely. And if you come over here to Google Earth and you look around in this location, there's all kinds of islands out here in this area. Like maybe at one time this was once a large landmass that was all above water. If you look around close, you can see underwater mountain ranges and there's just volcanoes out here galore. You guys are very familiar with this part of the world and it is known for its volcanic activity. And this area right here too where Mu supposedly once was, right now it's just a myth. You can come over here to a Wikipedia page and they talk a lot about the mythical lost continent, the lost continent of Mu. And it's sometimes referred to as Lemuria, the lost continent of Mu that was supposedly out here in the middle of the the Pacific Ocean and if you talk to the right people they say yes there was definitely a continent out here and there's proof of it out here on the seafloor and I have heard of some incredible structures being found out here off the coast of Japan 
Japan and various locations out here in the in the Pacific Ocean. Large underwater structures that at one time were more than likely above water. Right now, from what I understand, only 5% of the seafloors around the world have been explored. That leaves 95% or at least over 90% of the ocean floors unexplored up to this point. So could there have been something out here at one time? I don't know. You guys tell me. But there is a theory that at one point in time, there was a continent out there in the middle of the, the giant water world that we call the Pacific Ocean. And they call it the Lost Continent of Mu. And what if instead the, the next supercontinent, what if it was the return of an old continent that was out there a long, long time ago? Like I said, if you come over here to Google Earth and look around, you can see all kinds of, of surface features out here that if you think outside the box, they very well could have been part of something larger that was indeed above water a long, long time ago. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent from all around the world. Starting off in Yuma, Arizona, photos sent in by Rolf of a fiery orange sky. And those are Mammatus clouds in a fiery orange sunset. Susan B. out of Madison, Maine, also noticed a fiery orange sky at either sunrise or sunset. Stan out of Stockton, California, same thing. That looks like a sunset out of California. And these next photos and video were sent in by Liz B. out of New York. This was of a recent full moon, and she filmed this from high up in a building looking out over the city. Very cool photos. Larry out of Victoria, British Columbia. Couldn't help but notice the strange lines up in the sky. Almost looked like a, a meteor or an asteroid went tumbling through those clouds in broad daylight. Great video footage once again by, by Larry out of British Columbia. Natalie out of Utah noticed something up in the sky above Utah. Looks like some form of a weather balloon. I've got a video of something very similar to that from the same location. Up next here, I've got a series of jumbo halos that may have been witnessed by several people in California saving grace out of Roseville, California. Very intense halo. Tim S. out of Santa Rosa, California. Looks like the same halo on the same day. You're going to see them both side by side. Tim's and saving graces. And it does look like the same halo from California. Polenta saw the same halo from Sacramento, California. TC out of Newport Beach, California. Couldn't help but notice this very photogenic, what looks like a shelf cloud here along the coast of Newport Beach. Victor M out of Wichita, Kansas. Fiery orange, reddish sky. This was at sunrise. Photo here of a sunset sent in by Renee and Tim out of Louisiana. Fiery orange sky. Samantha H. Not sure what we're looking at here. This is a, a video of a strange object in the nighttime sky. Don't know what she saw there. Kurt B. Also saw something strange in the nighttime sky. Very colorful, stationary object. Strange looking sky here by T. Kalen out of South Smyrna, Georgia. Couldn't help but notice this photogenic cloud very low to the ground while he was in traffic above Georgia. Dan out of Florida, very low to the ground, photogenic Mamatis clouds. And here's another dark cloud moving in over his location. Big Joe out of Garin County, not sure of the state, but that is one photogenic sky. Angela D out of Cincinnati, Ohio, another photogenic sky. That looks like a massive roll cloud. And this next photo was sent in by Polenta out of Sacramento, California. This is either the moon or the sun, but either way, she noticed a profile in the sky kind of intertwined in the clouds here. I don't know how she noticed that, but she did, and it looks like the profile of a very popular character that everybody's familiar with. See the similarities there? Those clouds, just random clouds that configured to form a profile of that right there on the right. Just incredible. Great observation by Polenta. And this next segment's a video by Vincent out of Las Vegas. The original vertical video over here on the left. I zoomed in over here on the right. And it too is of some sort of a bizarre colorful object kind of high up in the sky just sitting there 
tumbling about Las Vegas. Photo here of a fiery orange sunrise sent in by Jessica B. out of Fernley, Nevada. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you have any videos you'd like to share that won't attach to the email for whatever reason, you can come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, Have a Large Video. Simply drag and drop your video into that red tab. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.